Well, it is official warmest spring on record for the area. Now at the Purdue agronomy farm, that's where it's official. The average temperature from March 1st through May 31st was, was 58.3 degrees. Now the old record for warmest spring on record was 1977, almost 56. And what's interesting, interesting about this number is two days were missing in the data set. So it's probably warmer than this. I know here at the TV station, we were 59 for the spring. But no matter which way you slice it, we blew away the old record for the warmest spring. And this data is, again, from the agronomy farm. That data set goes back to 1901. And then prior to 01, again, thanks to the climate office for this data, you've got data uh, for Purdue back to 1887. So that's a pretty impressive number. We blew away any old record for warmest spring. It's also very dry. It's dry tonight. But at least it's pretty cool. It's comfortable. Temperatures already falling into the low 60s. We've got a low spinning on the East Coast, keeping the heat at bay. But boy, there's a big storm out west. We've had so much severe weather up here in the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies for the past few days. That's a strong storm system, and it is going to dislodge this heat wave to the west, push it eastward, and we've got several days in the 90s. And also that low off the coast of New England will move away. So all that said, the heat is headed in. We've got 90s in this forecast. Now my graphics working. Notice tomorrow morning 52 degrees at 6 a.m. noon 73 and 80 at 5. Kind of like today probably won't have as many clouds but partly cloudy with the clouds bubbling up in the heating of the day and winds will be east northeast about 10 to 20 miles an hour. It is a warm and dry weather pattern with 90s on the way a stretch of 90s and perhaps a few storms by Tuesday and into Wednesday and now for 50 to 55 tomorrow morning, 79 for the high at Logansport and Burlington, 80 Lafayette, 81 Attica, 77 at Peru and then head down towards Attica, Covington area, New Richmond, Waveland. That's going to be the warmest area as we warm into those lower 80s. Now as we get into Thursday, even warmer, about 80 to 85, 83 Attica. Lafayette towards Covington, Crawfordsville, 81 Burlington, and 79 at Rochester, Morocco at 81. Like we were talking about at 5 and 6, there's not going to be a lot of humidity now through Friday. So even if it's in the 80s with dew points, 40s to mid 50s, it will be in that pleasant range. Now Saturday, still comfortable. Sunday into Monday, dew points rising in the low to mid 60s. So that means it's going to start to feel a little uncomfortable. It won't get really sticky around here until Tuesday, Wednesday, and that's when a few storms will start to pop. So 70 forecast, notice it getting warmer, uh, low to mid 80s as we head into Thursday and Friday, low humidity, Saturday still going to be comfortable, but uh, kind of a dry heat at 90, 93 Monday, and we really turn up the humidity by Tuesday with a few storms in here, but notice 40% coverage. That does not look like a widespread soaking rain. Not everybody's going to get rain out of that. That's the bad news. Okay. Well, thanks, Chad. Well, sure. bad news for that. Good news for the rest of the week, though, and some great news for a uh, Purdue player. Who